Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are checking out this massive creation right here. This is an Antonov AN-225, which is the biggest aircraft in the world. Uh, if you don't count the strata launcher, of course. Um, but this thing is massive, it's awesome, it's got a massive cargo bay inside of it. Not entirely sure how you actually put cargo in it, but um, I'm assuming we'll be able to figure that out soon. Uh, and it's got this whole start procedure as well that we're going to have to figure out. Um, which is, I don't know, all of these buttons right here, all of these buttons, all of these buttons, and all of these buttons. Um, and, and some stuff in here as well. Uh, so we're gonna try and get this thing sorted, started, and in the air, uh, and hopefully it doesn't take too long. So let's get on with it. Alright, so we're gonna jump out of our seat, and we are gonna push this button. The lights. Uh, the lights won't come on because the generators aren't on. We got no power. We've actually got no power at all. Hydraulic systems. All right, we can turn all of those on. Monitor, monitor. Um, valves. Do we just start the engines? All right, let's turn on all the fuel pumps. There we go. Uh, cross feed, cross feed. Pump left tank, right tank. We don't need to do that right now. Um, master switch. Here we go. Fuel valve, pump. How do we start the APU? Um. I don't know how we start the APU. I'm unsure. Uh, we don't want to do that. APU to flight deck. APU to there. Okay, good. APU power. Perfect. Nice. All the power is going on. Oh, awesome. Right, so the, the engines are going to start, I think. Are they going to start? Everything's zero currently. Please? Uh, oh, wait, are they on? Sit in a seat. Let me see if the exhaust's coming out. No. There's no exhaust as of right now. Whoa, dude, they've got four exhausts per it. That is, that is a lot of exhausts. Oh, boy. Right, okay. That's fine. Um, So they should start up, right? Yeah, they should start up fine. Uh, we're going to do the hydraulics for all of the power systems. There we go. Good. What's that? Okay, good. Uh, we're going to do fuel cutoff switches. So that all of them have fuel. Okay, if we throttle up a tiny bit, can we do that? Uh, how do we throttle up? Where's that? Throttle, up, down. Oh, boy. Right, okay. Uh, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Okay, right. Brakes. Brakes aren't on, so we can just go. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're taking off. Dude, this, this actually worked way quicker than I thought it was going to. All right, can we actually take off in this really tiny area? There's no way. I think we can. All right, hold on, we need nose wheel steering. All right, we're at full throttle. We are at full throttle. We're in the air. We are in the air, we're flying. Okay, right, okay, we're in the sky. How do I lift the landing gear up? Where's landing gear? Uh. Uh, <laughs> is that landing gear? There it is right there. Okay. And we are flying. Everything is working fine. Dude. Wow. This is working way better than I thought it was going to. If you wondered who actually uh, built this thing, his name is Enzo Cats. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. There's a lot of steps to it, to be fair. But you know, that actually looks alright. That does look fine. Uh, we're going to fly to the Arctic. Because I feel like that's a nice place to fly to. Uh, so, if we can go ahead and put on altitude hold. Uh, altitude hold up. Okay. Wait, we need to figure out an al- Where are we? <laughs> what altitude are we at? I- I'm unsure. Airspeed altitude 800. We're at 800. Wait, what? How are we at 800? Okay, go down to like 80. Maybe that's 800. I don't know. 79. Is it going to go down? It is. It's going down again. This might be... Yeah, this might be right. I'm assuming it's right, anyway. 86. So this should go down to 860. I'm assuming that's the way it works. Uh... No. Not quite. It is... Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. It is leveling itself out. Alright, nice. That's awesome. 
So yeah, I probably could have followed the instructions there, but I didn't, so never mind. Uh, we're going to have to have a large runway to actually land on here, because I feel like this is going to be a difficult plane to land. Just look at how big it is. It's, it is huge. It is absolutely massive. Um, I do want to turn on the lights in here if I can. There we go. Um, so yeah, we have this obviously like flight engineer bit. Uh, we got a little table here with nothing. A robotic door pivot. That's weird. Uh, oh, that's for these things. That's for this thing. Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. Can we have roll stabilization and pitch stabilization as well? That would be great. Yes. Um, activate door magnets. Alright, that should have probably been pressed earlier, but that's fine. Uh, then back here we got some tables and stuff we can sit at. That's cool. Um, don't know what this is. I don't really know what that is. Um, and then if we jump down here, this is the cargo bay. It is huge. It is absolutely massive. Um, but yeah, let's go get back inside. Uh, we'll fly all the way up to the Arctic. And hopefully, we have a good time. There we go. Alright, can I close this? There we go, look at that. The ladder comes all the way back up. That's awesome. Um, I don't know why we're rolling at the minute. I'm, I'm not sure why we've rolled over, but that's fine. Alright, cool. Uh, so I'm going to try and figure out where the Arctic is, and we'll, we'll land there. Alright, so uh, that is where the Arctic is right there. I've just cancelled the mission, because we don't need the mission. Um, we are 85 kilometers away, so wait, there's no exhaust on the right engines. Oh, I think that is a bug with the game, though. Uh, if you have too many exhausts, I think it'll only do some of the exhausts. Uh, but this itself looks kind of cool. Doesn't that look interesting? Yeah. Um, but yeah, is there anything else we can actually do inside of here? Nose wheel steering, manual brakes, no, no, no. Altitude hold, no. Roll stabilization, pitch stabilization. We've got no sort of autopilot yet, but I'm assuming that's something that'll end up coming in the future uh, because this plane is a work in progress at the minute. Um, but so far, so good. We're actually flying this thing. That is incredible. Uh, we shouldn't need the APU. Let's go ahead and turn the APU off because uh, I don't think we need it. Not right now. All right, so uh, I, I flew into a uh, like a thunderstorm kind of thing. Uh, there is lightning and stuff, so we might have a bit of an issue here. Um, because I, I don't know, if, if this thing gets hit by lightning, I'm unsure as to whether it will uh, fall out of the sky or not. Um, that's obviously a big issue with some of these planes. Um, <laughs> but I don't know whether this one will have that issue. Uh, I, I really don't know. Okay, so I let the plane fly by itself for a little while, and uh, it has rolled all the way over to the left side. Um, I don't really know why all of the engines should be running at the same the same speed and everything. Uh, and it is it is fine, like it, it is flying normally. Uh, it's just obviously got a bit of an issue with the roll. I I don't I don't know why, um, but that's okay. That's okay. We've corrected it. We are now still flying towards the destination. We're still 60 kilometers away, which is quite far, um, actually, that is very far, and uh, everything is actually still okay, so uh, that's good. If the front cargo door gets stuck, just try opening slash closing it again. Alright, awesome. Uh, this is an unforeseen um, thing. <laughs> I'm dying. I am dying of cold. I don't know whether there's any heaters in here at all. Uh, what is this? Keypad, keypad. No, 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 no. Heaters, fire suppression. No, we actually would like a fire right now. Um, power, power, power. Generate, generate. I haven't turned any of the generators on. Okay, we need the generators on. Okay, good. Um, heater. No, 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 no. Monitor, monitor. Left tank. No, no, no. We don't have a heater anywhere. Exterior. Okay. Any heaters back here? No. I'm dying. Uh, right, we're going to have to turn around. We're going to have to turn this plane around. Come on. Turn it around. We're going to have to do it like a hard bank. Oh, God. Right, okay. Turn these off. That should be fine. Yep. All right. Uh, I don't know whether I <laughs> I'm going to die. Uh, we should probably land this plane before we die. We should probably land it somewhere. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, right. We're going to we're gonna put it down on an iceberg if we can. Hopefully, we survive long enough to do so. Uh, turn this off. There we go, that should be a little bit better. Alright, here we go. We're diving down. Oh boy. Right, okay, landing gear needs to go out. Um, brakes need to go on. Yep, 
and we need to stop somewhere. <laughs> this isn't good. This is really bad, actually. This is incredibly bad. I didn't, like, I, I was, I don't know. I just assumed that we would be heated in here, but we're not. We, we just aren't. So, yeah, problems. But that's okay. I can't see anything. Um, right, we're gonna have to slow down. If we can land this, and we can land it here, that would be amazing. Do I have a throttle lever setting anywhere? I don't know. I don't think I can see one. No. Uh, so we're doing this without a throttle lever setting. I don't know if we're at zero or at one. Uh, or in between. Um, but here we go. Here we go. We're getting very close to the iceberg. It is a very steep angle. I've turned off the... I landed. I landed on an iceberg. Nice. Um, but yeah, now I'm dead because there, there, there are no heaters. Uh, there might be somewhere, but I haven't seen a button for them. So I'm assuming that there are none. I'm assuming there are none. Um, with that being said, what if we go outside and we stand underneath an engine? Um, oh, we spill an engine all the way. Oh, I don't know. This isn't going to work. Uh, just drop down here. Come on. Open sesame. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. I just, I don't know why I assumed. Uh, probably shouldn't have, but never mind. Alright, come on. I'm almost dead, but this is fine. It's probably not. It, I mean, it's definitely not fine. Um, but you know what? I am actually really surprised we did manage to land this thing. Isn't that incredible? I think that's incredible. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, open the door at the bottom. We need to jump down here, please. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go get next to an engine, and hopefully that'll be enough to heat us up. But I don't think it will. Oh, wow. Yeah, we did land quite hard. That is true. Oh, is it sliding off? The plane is sliding off the iceberg. Um, well, R.I.P. plane. And R.I.P. me. Yeah, we're both dead. I mean, I'm, I am so close to dying, but I'm I'm still alive. Oh, one more click and I'm dead. Um, but it is it is going to fall off. I, I think I put the brakes on. I mean, I, I think I might have turned the brake. No, they must be on. I, I died. I'm dead. <laughs> um, wow, look at that for a picture. Just a grayscale Antonov and me flopping around. Wow, that's weird. We were literally almost here as well. Like, I'm in the Arctic now. I'm... Where am I? Wait, am I in the Arctic? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm at Terminal Endo. I think I'm at Terminal Endo. Um, so we were... We literally landed, like, here on this. And we were gonna go here. Like, we were actually going to land at this airstrip. That is insane. Like, we were we were so close, but so far away. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so I figured I'd go ahead and spawn it in again. It should be spawning in now. It is, it is. Look at how big it is. It's such a big plane. Um, but I want to show you guys the actual, like, the nose cone opening up. Because, I don't know, it just seems like a cool thing to show, doesn't it? Um, because the whole nose goes up. So, we must be able to, wait, where do we get in? We climb in through the front, so we climb in through here, this is fine, there we go. Uh, you climb all the way up, yes, then you're in this room, so you close the hatch, you run backwards, and then right here on the ground there is a ladder button, so the ladder pops down, you jump on the ladder, you go upstairs, and that is all fine, okay? That bit is, well, yeah, you have to grab onto this ladder, otherwise you'll just fall straight back down. Um, so you go ahead and close the ladder, there we go, uh, we want to turn the APU on, ba ba bum. There we go. Go ahead and turn on the power. The APU power, flight deck power, bam, 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 bam. There we go. The APU should start by itself. We'll do APU power to everywhere. Good. That means we should turn on the lights. Yes. And if we go downstairs, we should be able to turn on the lights down there as well. All right, but we don't need to do that just yet. What we want to do is we want to open the nose cone. Uh... Is it working? I can't tell whether it's opening or not. I, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, what? <laughs> right, release door connectors. Yes, I have done. Is it gonna open? Oh, of course, that makes sense. Uh, we need the hydraulic systems. That does make a lot of sense. Uh, so somewhere back here, there is the hydraulic power. There we go, Bo bo boom. boom. Hydraulic systems, there we go. These should all turn on. There we go, good. 
And then we should be able to do this. And the door opens. Yes, fantastic. That is pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know how you would load things in there. Um, but I guess, I guess that's something that we need to figure out eventually. Um, we might be able to use the same cargo system that the other planes use. Uh, maybe. And we should be able to just push... In fact, why don't we give that a go? Oh, no, let's not, because it's got no connectors. <laughs> Wait, there's... Uh-oh. There's no way of getting back in. If you fall out. There's no way. Because... Right, we're going to try it anyway. Right, so this wasn't designed for that plane right there. However, it might work. So, what we're going to do is instead of driving both vehicles over there, which we don't need to do, uh, we're going to reverse up to this car, and we're going to try and put the car on the on the thing. It should work fine, don't worry. Here we go. So, yeah, we'll see what happens here. But we're going to reverse uh, up to this car. We're going to slide the car onto this machine, and then we're going to go ahead and put the car in the thing. Uh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Right, line that up. That's good. Where's brakes? How do we do brakes? Soft braking. Three. Okay, right. Turn the handbrake on. That's good. And then we just need to disable this thing. Unload and disable brakes. And then push it. There we go. That's fantastic. So that'll load onto there. If I push it further. <laughs> um... Yeah, this will load under here. That's fine. Push it, push it, push it. Good. Uh, apply a brakes. In a second. There we go. Good. And then drive this thing over there. This should be pretty cool. If this works, um, then this might be the biggest plane that is actually, um, I don't know, accessible by one of these things. That's pretty cool. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to raise our deck. Yes, there we go. Uh, I don't really know if this is going to be high enough. This is the highest one we've got, so I'm assuming it will be, but I I genuinely don't know uh, whether we can actually raise it high enough to get into the cargo bay. Um, we'll try, though. We will try our best. Okay, so at the moment, we are a little bit low, so we're going to go up to the right height. Yeah, we, we should fit. We should fit, hopefully. Oh, if this works, this is super cool. If this works, it is super, super cool. Um, I don't know whether he's done, like, this strip right here. I don't know whether he's done it on purpose. But, if he has... <gasps> We're on. We're on. Alright, put the handbrake on. There we go, good. Jump over here. Yes! Um, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, loading mags. Uh, tie down connectors. Are those the loading mags? Or... I don't know. Right, okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Yep, we need to go back over here. Uh, and if we press 5... Yes, this is perfect. This is perfect. <gasps> Ooh, I almost fell off. Uh, right, okay, now we turn off the brakes. Uh, disable the container brakes. There we go. And then we jump back over there. Do, 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 do. And then we press 6. And it'll drag it in. Yes. Now, oh. Wait. Oh, wait. We are quite far away, aren't we? Actually. Uh. Okay, hold on. Am I connected on both sides? I am. But we, there's no way we can do that. Okay. Obviously got an issue here. Um, disconnect from aircraft. Four. And go higher. And drive in. There we go. Alright, that's going to have to do. Okay, so we disconnect this. We press five. Jump back over here. And then push it. Uh, keep pushing. Keep pushing! Keep pushing! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's not really working though, is it? It's on! No way! No, it's not. Oh, okay, right. We need to drive forwards. Yeah, okay, good. And then we need to push it more. 
I don't see this working very well. No sorry. Okay, push it on. It's sliding off. Ooh! Ooh, it's, I think it's working. Okay, push it in. I don't know whether it is working. This seems to be very difficult to do. Okay. Um, what can we do to fix this? We can reverse. Okay, try and go forwards now. We're as high as this thing goes. Alright, cool. Good. Uh, if we can somehow like turn on this line. Uh, so do this. That one is connected. Just one. We need we need at least two, I think. So I'm gonna push this side. If I can. Wait, are we on? Are we on? Because that thing's moving away. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like this. If I turn these off, does it fall off? No. Okay, but it doesn't appear to be on a track. Uh, okay. Is it because it's a different track? No, they're the same. I don't get it. I don't understand. Push! Okay, right. Better idea. Press 2. Okay, so we're higher than the car itself. And then push. There we go. We're using this cart to push it in. Still doesn't appear to be doing too much, though. Alright, we gotta ram it. We gotta ram it. Okay, reverse. Yes! Alright, we're gonna we're gonna full on charge this thing. And hopefully it'll go inside. Alright, here we go. Full on charge! Here we go! Up, 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 Yep. Go, go, go. This is as fast as I can go. Yes! Oh, that was a big shunt. Alright, okay. Um... It still doesn't appear to be on one of these tracks, though. Like, it's not actually going on the track at all. Is that me that's done that badly, or what? Ooh! Ooh, that felt like it snapped there. That did feel like it snapped. Okay, now push. It did it! Is it in? Is it working? I think it's on, you know. It's sliding in. We've got a car on board. This is weird, but perfect at the same time. Okay, right, if we do this. It's tied down. Okay. Uh, we can't fly away because that thing is in the way, but that's cool. We can actually use that loading system almost. Um, basically, what you'd have to do uh, to change it is you would take out that magol and you would move that thing down to there. Uh, you'd do the same thing on that side, and then it would be at the right level just to slide things in, and you could use this plane. That is awesome. But yeah, since there's literally no way of me getting back inside uh, while that thing is in the way and the door is open, uh, I guess we're going to have to leave this here. Um, but it is actually pretty cool to figure out that we can use this system uh, with this plane. So um, yeah, uh, I'll link both down below. I'll link the plane and the system, uh, and you guys can check it out for yourselves. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.